spider strap. We're just going to show you how the spider strap is different from our buckle strap. So we've already taken care of manual stabilization of the head in the neutral inline position, our CMS and C collar, and now we're going to show you the spider strap. So our spider strap is different than our buckle strap because it's all one piece. The top of our spider strap, we're going to have this Y. This Y is designed to go over the shoulders down to the patient's sternum. So first we're going to unroll our spider strap. Lay it out on our patient. And we're going to secure the top Y of our spider strap. We want to go right below the patient's shoulder so it comes up and over our patient's shoulder. When we secure this, we want it on the sternum. We don't want it too high so it rests on our C-collar. Now that we have that top piece secured, we're going to come down all the way to the ankles. And place this down at our patient's lower legs. This is going to hold this center line or dip line taut so that we can move the rest of the straps into position. The next strap is going to go across the chest underneath the armpits. Okay, so Holly, does that feel like it restricts your breathing? Yep. Yeah. We want to make sure that we have padding for our patient underneath the small of their back and underneath their knees. So I'll use my hand to feel underneath of the small of her back. I've got a little bit of padding to put in there that I can feed under to give her a little bit of padding. And then I can give a little bit of padding underneath of her knees. Now I'm going to secure the patient's hips. And then above her knees, on her thighs. I've already got the lower leg secure. And that's my spider strap. Now I'll go ahead and secure the head, make sure I do my CMS, and I'm done.